Hello everyone, it is I, Reverso, and welcome to today's news flash. In this video I will bring you the latest updates on events in Knights and Dragons, and as always I will go through them briefly and give you guys my thoughts and opinions about the events. So this week's uh, news flash is actually very eventful because I pretty much discussed quite a few uh, topics of this news flash already um, in previous videos, but let's take a look shall we? The first event is a epic guild war that got announced, it is the Voodoo Vengeance Guild War. Then we have a 20% off sale on most jam packages. We have a new epic that got released, it can be found in the new chest, it's the Mardi Gras chest. In my last video I actually opened up 11 of these, so make sure you check that one out because it's an epic episode. Um, after that we have Jamtacular, it is a new event we haven't seen in the news flash yet, but basically it comes down to a gem spending event. Then after that we have 20% arena bonus energy when you're purchasing an arena pack. And after that we have the weekly new epic boss, it is the Voodoo Priest, it's for only 6 days so make sure you take that into consideration. And last but definitely not least, it's Carnavale Clash, the weekly tournament. And uh, it's actually quite interesting because uh, I like the theme a lot. So anyway, before we get into the winners for this week's arena, this is currently the 26th of February. So that means the Wait Rumble tournament has ended. And uh, I did mention, I believe I did mention that I was hoping to see some major arena points this week. Well, let me tell you, it was awfully close. But let's take a look here. Coming in first place, we have Bros with almost 1 million points getting in there, but he won the Soul Shard Necromantal Plus, which is a really great army. He's already wearing it, you see that? Then in second place, we have NR for Hellfire with 933,000 points. And in third place, we have Make Total Destroy 921,000 points. Very close. As you guys can see, they all have in 900,000 points. But there was one other person who had over 900,000 points and actually that was the rank 4, like the top 4 people had a really great shot of winning this uh, this week's tournament arena epic but uh, unfortunately the 4th one didn't make it but the 4th the one was actually last week's arena winner which was Bloody Roses and to be honest I, I do feel it kind of deserves a special mention you know he, he didn't quite make it Bloody Roses but uh, you know, Bloody Roses already took the last week's arena, so uh, the plus version. So yeah, you know, I just think that it's a bit of a shame because it was like, let me see, 901,000 points. That uh, it's only 20,000 points, and when you're so close, I kind of feel it's a waste to uh, not make it in the end. But uh, anyway, but let's take a look because here I managed to actually get into the top. 10,000 but only barely although I have to admit I didn't really try anyway I'm gonna get the um, 8 keys, 8 gems, uh, 60,000 gold and I'm gonna get a ribbon yay another ribbon to add to my collection so this week is going to be different uh, there's a ton for me to enhance I'm gonna definitely be capable of getting up to a higher ranking than this week but um, we have a new arena this week it is Clash Carnivale or Carnivale Clash uh, it's carnival pretty soon as you guys know so everybody's getting dressed up I will celebrate it myself so I'm kind of like looking forward to it but uh, this week's arena epic I can imagine uh, you know this epic was recently here so it's like returning from last month is the Ages of Sky and Majesty plus and I can imagine that some people are being upset about it because well it was the 31st of January where we had the same arena epic so it really actually is one month or even less when this one came out however in this case I want to make an exception to the disappointment because I think the costume is quite awesome looking I mean just look at it when you check the summary at the right side you see Ages of Sky Majesty by now you guys should know how it looks but it looks great even though this isn't really all that awesome you know one month ago the stats of this epic were still okay, but with the new epics being released I must say that it's below average right now. I mean being the fourth worst in stats out of 21 epics I must say that I really hope this will be the last time we'll be seeing uh, the, the Ages of Sky Majesty return in the arena. Anyway the legendary of this week is one we haven't seen before, it is the Horseman's Battle Gear. And you know the stats are so ridiculously bad right now that I would just say just get it to fuse it away with another legendary and who knows 
maybe you'll get your hands on the Ages of Sky Magi while fusing it away. Anyway, the ultra rare this week is Armor of the Infernal Lord. And, uh, well, Carnavali, I suppose it makes sense because, you know, there's some connection to the, I don't know, Voodoo Priest or something? I'm not sure about it, but it's still a mystery to me. Anyway, don't forget your weekly quest line, and as always, uh, make sure you finish it up, because then you can get your hands, you get your hands on some gems, because that's always useful. And also don't forget, there's a sale ongoing right now. I mean, if you want to spend the gems anyway on the, on the arena, make sure you do it now, because right now is the moment to do it. Um... So yeah, that kind of covers this week's arena. So next up in the news item is Gem Gemtacular, I think. At the left side, you see it at the left side, it's Gemtacular. Okay, Gemtacular is quite interesting, and I'd say it's even worth it. You see, if you saved up the gems, <laughs> it is definitely worth it. Um, for the amount of gems you spend, you gain rewards based uh, on, on what the actual goals are. And I find 50 gems for 3 fusion boosts are a pretty sexy deal. I mean, to be honest, you're spending gems and you're gonna get like fusion boost armors. Who doesn't want that? I mean, it's 3 fusion boost armors. You know, I could always recommend someone to save up 50 gems in case this sort of event come, pops up. Uh, I'd say go for your 50 gems, but if you don't have any more gems, don't go for it. I mean. Speaking of gems, uh, there's currently a 20% sale on going right now. Um, suppose that kind of makes sense. It's a nice combination. But in the end, it's entirely up to your own discretion if you're going to buy gems or not. So uh, we're going to be stopping talking about the Gemtacular event. Because the next event is also another gem spending event. I mean, I already released a video on this today as well. And, uh, oh, actually I released three videos today. So I did a lot of videos today. But, um... Yeah, let me just tell you this much. This is the limited edition Mardi Gras chest event. And uh, at first I was laughing because I thought they spelled grass wrong. <laughs> but apparently they didn't because um, if you don't know what Mardi Gras is, it basically means carnival. But the literal translation is Fat Tuesday in French. And in French you say Mardi Gras because it's French. You know, the French don't pronounce the S. But on Fat Tuesday, you eat a lot, you celebrate and everything, pretty much carnival. So anyway, enough about that, the chest. Uh, looks quite funky out though, I even say so myself. Uh, the new Epic got released with it. Uh, you know, you can, say what it, you can say what you want from it, but the Aquatic Battle Gear Plus just looks amazing. I mean, what I personally find most awesome is the fact that it's an Earth. Uh, along with the water type and it's it's like you can barely see the earth element I mean you can see it a little bit but not all that much it's like glowish I don't even know I, I wouldn't be surprised if this would actually be the design of a monotype water element type of arm anyway by the way did you notice that like lately um, every single armor has like big shields or something like that like literally every single epic armor that lately got released or even legendaries they, they all have like Huge shields. I, I don't even know what's up with it. Anyway, the stats. Uh, yeah, what do I need to say? It's sick. I mean, they keep getting better and better each time I update, and I'm even more impressed every t single time. And again, this this armor breaks the new record, which was set by the Guild War Epic a few days ago. I mean, this this armor is so amazing. It is a really awesome defensive wall. As a matter of fact, I. This armor actually has the best defense in the game right now. With 2214, uh, the Hellfire Blade mode isn't even coming close, being in second place with 2102 attack. So with that being said, let's actually take a look at the chest. Open up 11 chests at once, you're going to get 5 water fusion boost armors. When you open up 40 chests at the same time, you're going to get 20 water fusion boost armors. And you're going to get the Slime Bane Battle Gear Plus. Let's take a look at the Slime Gear Battle Gear Plus. Uh, the Slime Gear Battle... The Slime Bane Battle Gear Plus. Uh, it's incredibly lame. It looks stupid. It's ugly. It, it, it does fit the theme, I think that's the reason why they put it in, but man, stats are horrible, it, it's like the, the worst one I haven't said, but yeah, what can you say, Mardi Gras, Carnival, what can we say? Okay, you want to know what is a joke as well, the next event, uh, Voodoo Priest, the epic boss, let's take a look here, 
it's only here for six days so i i'd say hurry up you have less than five days left in order to defeat it 43 43 times i already discussed this uh, for the mo for the main part in another video i released today but i didn't talk about the armor and such yet so i gotta admit this boss looks pretty cool and uh he looks really scary too with a skull in his hand and the makeup stuff i don't know but why are they doing this here at Carnival, but not at Halloween? That's what I wonder. Anyway, let's take a look at the armor we can get this week. Uh, actually, scratch that. I think the armor looks terrible. That's just my opinion. Uh, so let's talk about the stats. Best legendary in the game. Uh, beats last week's legendary by 45 combined stats. However, um, I'm not going to bother with this boss. Because I got it up to level 15, as you guys can see. And I'll just craft the armor, but that's it. The thing for me is, um, I, I basically just fused a Blazeborn, which is a fire type. And last week's epic boss was spirit and water. So if you actually do the math, it, it kind of fits better with my combination to, to go with the last week's epic in combination with the Blazeborn and not go for this epic at all. So um, the advice I can give you guys, basically, is that um, if you're capable of getting up to level 43, just go for it it's a great armor and I would I would pretty much done the same if it wasn't for my Blazeborn alright um, so right now we kinda arrived at the last week's event and it's been announced a couple of weeks ago so you now I'm pretty much talking about the new guild epic war it's the food of vengeance it kind of connects to the Voodoo Priest. Uh, already discussed most of this already because it's another epic war. But uh, the war itself, I think it's nice. I mean, the epic is 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 more than decent. It's actually very very good. But the only thing is, the one thing that really bothers me still after three days, Voodoo Vengeance, Snowstorm Mail, Voodoo Vengeance, Snowstorm Mail, so Snowstorm Plate Mail, Voodoo Vengeance. Snowstorm Blade though, who comes up with these names? What the heck? I mean seriously, I mean we have seen some bad name combinations right, but this really blows my mind. However, uh, let's take a look at the legendary rewards because we already discussed Snowstorm Blade Mill, awesome looking, awesome rewards and everything. But uh, legendary is Black Frost Raymond, like that a lot, it's, it's a great armor using it myself. So right now I feel it's still up to par. Um, gonna take a look at the Ultra Rare. It is the Spectral Captain's uniform. I forgot to mention that earlier. Someone left a comment about that. I apologize for that. But it's the Spectral. Uh, it's the Spectral Captain's uniform. So um, for me, this is the event I'm most excited about because our guild Incognito. We're gonna be trying for top 250 like always. Uh, guild Wars are just so much more fun you know i hope you guys will join me in the upcoming days where i'll bring status updates each day and report on the war here on youtube in which i will be checking the leaderboard checking the fights that we've done already so if you guys haven't done it already and you wish to stay up updated with whatever i bring out as content on youtube make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you can also receive updates whenever i release a video so with all that being said and the fourth video I've done today, being released here on YouTube, finally being done. I'm going to round off this week's episode of the News Flash here. So be sure to follow me on Twitter and hit the like button on the Facebooks. And since this week, I also have a Instagram account which you can follow me on. The name is Reversal YouTube, and I pretty much post a random picture at least once or twice or three times a day with some weird stuff going on but uh, yeah I, I i'm actually very active on there so make sure you check that out anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always if you really like this video make sure to boom, give it a thumbs up and feel free to discuss anything related to today's video in the comment section below i want to thank you so much for watching this video i'm reversal bring you your weekly knights and dragons uh, knights and dragons news and i'll be signing off and i'll see you guys next week